Hi guys, today we are going to set up our workspace. So your workspace in Photoshop will match mine. So as we work through these tutorials together, you'll be able to see the same thing I'm seeing and access the same buttons and, and it'll be a lot easier to follow along. So this is probably what you see when you install Photoshop 2021 onto your computer. So we're just gonna kind of go through this, get rid of what I don't generally use and um, make it a little bit easier to look at and understand. So I, like my layers, channels, and paths to live in this bottom corner right here. I don't use the channels and paths a whole lot. Layers I use constantly. Um, I like for my adjustments to live right here. I just want to make that the same size. Properties can go in there too. It's fine. Um, libraries, I don't use that. So we're going to kill it. And then my history, I'm going to drag it over here and pop it out like that it's going to live right up here and not going to keep that i'm going to go here to my windows tab and i also want to load my actions they have popped actually right over here where i want them to be my history and actions live up here um i do have actions available that you can follow along if you need a copy of those just email me at gretchen at gretchen otero.com i'll gladly send them over to you and I'll also send you over some tool presets that I use. Um, I just loaded those by going to window, clicking tool presets. And there we go. We have them down here. Uh, my actions work with the tool presets. So if you need those, again, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. Happy to share them with you. They're nothing super duper fancy, um, but they are exactly what I use for all of my photo editing in Photoshop. So once you have your workspace set up like this, we have our Photoshop tools on the left, our tool presets um, that I've made on, also on the left corner. We have our actions, our history, adjustment, property, layers, channels, and paths. This is how I want my workspace. And so what you should do now is go to Window, Workspace, New Workspace, and call this My New Workspace, or whatever you want to call it. And we're gonna also capture keyboard shortcuts, menu, and toolbar. So we want everything saved. Go ahead and save it. That way, if someone comes and they scramble up all your stuff, you don't know where anything is, everything's missing, you can just go here and click workspace. Just go Gretchen's workspace and boom, everything's back where you want it. One other quick tip, say you walk up to your computer or you press a button, oh my gosh, everything's gone. Where is everything gone? The tab button tab to make it go away. So maybe you want to show someone a photo full screen. You hit tab, you get rid of all your stuff, hit tab again, and everything's back. All right, that's all I have for today.